Now let us know in detail about Maslow's theory of hierarchy of needs. Maslow's theory of self-actualization involves arranging of our needs in a hierarchical order with lower order needs at the base and higher order needs towards the apex in the form of a pyramid. Physiological needs, then security needs, then love and belongingness needs, esteem needs and self-actualization. Maslow insists that we always will think of the next higher order needs after satisfying the lower order needs. That is, first we will think of satisfying our physiological needs, then safety needs, then love and belongingness needs, then esteem needs and then self-actualization. Let us know more about it in this session. As we have already seen, Maslow's hierarchy of needs involves physiological needs, security needs, love and belongingness needs, esteem needs and self-actualization needs. The first three being the lower order needs and the next two highly derived ones. After this session, you will be able to explain Maslow's hierarchy of needs. As we already know, like animals, we all have biological needs, need for breathing, food, water and so on. Can you imagine yourself focusing on something else when you are very hungry or when you haven't had enough sleep, when you are thirsty? Like animals, we all want our basic needs to be satisfied first, without which we will not be motivated to look for any higher order needs. After that emerge safety needs. We all want to be safe physically, socially, emotionally. First of all, physical security is very necessary. We all, that's why People started living in houses which are built safe from animals, from bad elements, from bad weather and so on. Once we are safe physically, we will think of financial security, we will think of the future, we want our future to be safe. So we will think of an employment which will make our future safe and we will think of collecting resources for our future to make it safe. So things like doing the right things and to avoid the wrong things to be done to us is also very important and a safety need. So we want to be socially secure. In the society, we don't want anyone to harm us or exploit us. Similarly, the family also should make us feel safe. In a family where girl children before were considered sort of secondary, girls always used to feel insecure. And even in certain families where there are stepfathers, stepchildren, maybe that issue of not feeling safe may also emerge. And then we have health, safety from diseases, and having some resources which will keep us safe for the years to come, these all will come under safety needs. So after physiologi physiological needs are satisfied, we will think of making our future safe. Once we are sure that our future is safe, then we think of our love and belongingness needs. Now we are not focused only on ourselves, we want to be associated with the immediate community around us. We want to belong to the family, we will think of family members, we will think of having some friends and we start networking with people and we socialize and then there is that need for belonging to a family to be loved and to love and in this way we think of having our own family, be loved and we'll, we want to love other people also, the family of course and we want to belong to a community, a society where we have friends, 
where we, we have affection, where we feel that we belong to a community, a society, a nation. So, the need for affiliation comes under the love and belonging needs. These three are lower order needs. Once we have even our family, we have friends, we have a networking, then we think of esteem needs, what about our status in the society and in the family. So, the need for esteem is that we want to be looked at with a great respect by the people around us, by family members, by our friends and by the society. So, at this stage we always are in the quest of developing our own identity, achieving certain things, having a status, having a big house and certain status symbols like car and other things which will uh, earn respect for us in others eyes. Once we have all that, then we think of self esteem. Now, we want to raise in our own eyes, we want to do certain things which will make us feel that we are doing something worth doing and we want to earn our own respect in the sense that we want to grow in our own eyes and achieve certain things. All this will develop in us a sense of confidence, a sense of achievement which will command the respect of others. And once we start doing it not for other things, but to grow ourselves for self development, then the need for self esteem also is satisfied. Then what next? Is that the end that we always do for something else, for status, for self esteem? Not necessarily. There comes a stage when we want to realize all that we are capable of. We want to realize for ourselves what we are worth and then we start doing certain things. We are highly motivated to do those things which are highly creative, which are good for the society, which come spontaneously not because of something else we need, not because of some incentives which are given to us, not because of some status or some esteem which we want, but just to realize our own potentials to the fullest where we go on doing certain things without looking for appreciation, without looking for any other benefits. In this way from the physiological needs towards the self actualization needs, all of us we human beings move from one need to another motivated to achieve several goals first physiological, then safety, then love and belongingness needs, then esteem and lastly self actualization. It is not necessary that everyone moves in this direction till the top. So many of us, especially the poor people who are staying uh, in the slums or looking for two square meals a day might be stuck only at the physiological needs level. Some may be stuck at the safety levels. As we go higher, only fewer, peop fewer people will be motivated to move towards higher order needs and at the highest level only people like Mahatma Gandhi, Baba Amte and such people move towards self actualization. Thus, we try to fulfill our basic needs, food, then housing, then shelter, then we want to have these things in future too. We have satisfied our physiological needs. Now what? We want our future to be safe. For that what do we need? Money. So, we will start saving money for our future. We are happy looking at the bank balance growing bigger and bigger. Once we have enough money, what do we do next? Which other things we want? We think of having a house. Once you get a flat, then you want a better house, then a better house, maybe a bungalow. So, in this way, we will go on thinking of good housing and once we have a good house, what next? Emotionally, we want to feel secure.
we don't want anyone to do something wrong to us nor do we want to do something wrong to others so emotionally we want to be very happy and peaceful then we'll think of social security that is in this society we want to be secure enjoying our rights and duties in this way we want to feel safe physically socially financially in emotionally once our safety needs are achieved then we will think of love and belongingness needs now we are not happy all by ourselves we want to belong to a family we want to belong to the society we start socializing we want to network we want friends we want to meet our friends we want people to love us we want to love others too now we want to have a family where we can love our family members and we get love from them also and happiness belongingness a sense of identity in the family in the society in the community is what we look for and motiv and are motivated to achieve once we are happy with whatever we have done we belong to a family now and we have the love and affection needs satisfied then we will think of esteem needs we want recognition in the family in the community and in the society we want a position of prestige in the society so for that we start working doing some quality work achieving certain things which are worth achieving and this happens generally in the middle age when we are after uh, you know our work doing something or the other and want to achieve and want recognition in the form of status prestige name and fame and this continuous quest for recognition makes us achieve several things which in that process brings in us self confidence and we become much more competent to deal with life deal with our family society and also with our work so at this stage we all look for a sense of identity recognition we want a position of prestige in the society which in turn leaves us self confident and competent once we achieve all the needs physiological yes we are safe and then we have a family and we belong to the society we have achieved so many things we are now confident and competent we have done everything what next do we end there no there comes a stage where we want to realize all that we are capable of this time only not because we are getting a bonus or an incentive not because we want to raise in the eyes of the people not for status or prestige but just to see what we are worth we go on doing certain things we are good at we want to realize our own fullest potential so this is the highest order need or the self actualization need as maslow calls it it means we all strive to realize our fullest potential if one is a very good singer would like to achieve excellence in that field a sportsman will do in that field so there will be a continuous quest for excellence in the area in which we excel so friends we have seen that we all are in quest of satisfying some need or the other we start with the biological or the physiological needs once we satisfy them we think of safety needs after they are also fulfilled then we think of love and belongingness needs then we think of our esteem needs towards the end the self actualization needs it is possible that many of us are stuck up at a particular level but nevertheless we will think of the higher order needs only after satisfying the lower order needs thank you